This is the 2020 Ultra Brome MB. MB stands for Murphy Bed, and it's by Regency RV. And its unique selling feature is that it is one of, in my book at least, in my account, one of only a few, maybe three Class C RVs available that has the driver's side Murphy bed, which you can see here, as well as the L-shaped kitchen dinette along the driver's side. And so because that, that layout is so unique, we're taking a look at it today. Here you can see just an overview of the outside, what it looks like. You know, it's it's pretty clean. I mean, it, it the other two that it competes with is the Leisure Travel Vans Unity MB Murphy bed, as well as the Airstream Atlas. And the Airstream Atlas is over a $200,000 MSRP. The Leisure Travel Van is right up there around maybe $141,50 MSRP. And this one's around the same, but it comes out a little bit lower. So this is probably your most affordable option. And there are some things that I really like about the Ultra Brome, as well as a few things that I think they, they can improve on. Before we head inside, let's take a look at the dimensions. Like its competitors, its exterior length is 25 feet 1 inch. So it's kind of long, but certainly not as long as many Class C's and some Class A's. Its exterior width is 7 feet 10 and a half inches exterior height 10 feet 6 inches your interior height is 6 feet 7 inches which is pretty good and as far as i could tell there's no step ups at all so that's a continuous 6 feet 7 inches of interior height front to back and then your all important exterior storage 38 cubic feet we're also going to take a look at that in comparison with the occupant and cargo carrying capacity now this particular model that we're looking at is built on the 2018 Mercedes Sprinter cutaway chassis. Cutaway chassis means that this particular chassis is not the van chassis. And being a 2018 model, it's not built on the new upgraded Mercedes 2019 chassis. Here you can see the 2018 interior. So it doesn't have that large, beautiful touch screen. It does not have the electric uh, seats and it doesn't have the active safety systems like active braking, active cruise control, like the 2019 model has, but it has been upgraded with the new uh, interior colors here that match the rest of the coach as well as the wood trim. I think it looks fine. Let's take a look at the passenger side storage bins. Here we are at the back, working our way forward. You got a little bit of storage there in the back. You have your optional uh, generator. We'll talk about that when we talk about the electrical systems and then you have a little bit more storage forward of that. Now, all of your storage in this coach is located on the passenger side. There are no storage compartments at all located on the driver's side. And something else I want to point out is I'm not a big fan of the way these doors are held up in place. It's kind of a cheap little flimsy um, spring-like mechanism. You can see the doors at various angles here. This is a large vertically large pass uh, not pass through storage but you can see here and we're going to talk about this in a second it opens up to the inside of the van and they tout that as a feature in the sense that you can just drop your laundry into this bag but i think it's a safety concern because the that door can be very easily pried open and also it uses a standard what they call a master key uh, for the rv dealership so they don't have to carry around a bunch of keys and that master key is a security risk and if someone gets a hold of that, they could open that door up and they could climb into the inside of your coach. But speaking of exterior storage, let's also take a look at that in conjunction with occupant and cargo carrying capacity. And here you can see that the Ultra Brome MB has a very respectable 1,380 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Now that includes a full tank of gas as well as a full tank of your liquid propane, but we have to subtract off of that the weight of the driver, which is 100, let's just say it's 160 pounds, the weight of a passenger, 130 pounds, and a full tank of water, 8.3 pounds per gallon, 30 gallons of fresh water, that's 249 pounds. That leaves us with a very respectable 841 pounds of net cargo carrying capacity. So that's a pretty good number that allows you to carry everything that you need on the inside of the coach and then also carry 
and fill up that exterior storage that we saw, the 38 cubic feet of exterior storage that we saw. So I'm happy to see that Regency is balancing the exterior cubic feet of storage with the proper occupant and cargo carrying capacity. That's not always the case with some of these RV manufacturers who will give you just a lot of exterior storage and then couple it with a very low occupant and cargo carrying capacity, which in my mind just nullifies that exterior storage. But here we see that Regency is not doing that. I want to also point out, since we're talking about exterior storage in that slide, it looks like there's compartments, exterior storage compartments here on the driver's side under the slide, but there are not. Those are just simply panels covering up the bottom part of the slide and if you look here from the back you can see there are no storage compartments at all either on the chassis or underneath the slide whatsoever and i'm gonna have to ding regency for this because i think that they should put storage compartments in there ideally attached to the slide so they come out with the slide or on the chassis that's fine as well but they really should put some type of exterior storage compartments on there like we have on the Leisure Travel Unity MB as well as on the Atlas by Airstream. Let's take a look at the driver's seating position. Here I am, you know, like all Mercedes cutaways, this has great uh, leg room. My seat's pushed all the way back. Um, and you can see I've got my fingers extended. I'm just barely touching the steering wheel. Good leg room. So excellent seating position here. And unlike the 2019 Mercedes, cutaway chassis, at least the one that I took a look at from Tiffin on the Wayfair, these manual seats do not obviously uh, readjust themselves as you're moving this, uh, pushing the seat back like they do on the 2019 model. The 2019 model would, the seat back would move forward a little bit as I continue to move and push the seat back. And, and that's not uh, an issue here on the 2018 model. As we take a look at the compartments along the driver's side at the very back, you have your dump station with your macerator control there as well as your city water hookup and tank fill and then forward of that you have your bypass valves as well as your exterior shower now before we head inside let's take a look at the layout so this is the ultra berm mb for murphy bed and you can see we have the murphy bed slash lounge up front Directly on the driver's side, directly behind that, we have our L-shaped galley. Then we have our three-piece dry bath in the very back. But they make two other variants of the Ultra Brome as well. They make the twin version, which has two twin beds in the back, and then a lounge up front, as well as the queen bed or island bed in the back, and then your same lounge up front. So three variants. Let's head inside. This is what it looks like as you step in. There's your lounge. There's your Murphy bed behind that uh, wall of wood. You can see there's our L-shaped galley and then there's the 40 inch LCD TV and then your three piece dry bath in the back. This is the exact same layout that we found on the Airstream Atlas as well as the Leisure Travel Vans Unity MB. You have a large skylight above the lounge, which provides also for ventilation, it has day and nighttime shades as well. As you can see, there are no step ups or steps down here, so it's completely flat front to back, which I really appreciate. I think the lighting is just adequate in this particular RV. I mean, you can see there we have some ceiling lights, but I'm always a proponent for more ceiling lights on dimmable controls. I'd rather have more lights that I can shut down than not have enough lights. And when I turn them all on, it's still too dark on the inside. I mean, there is accent lighting you can see there under the TV. And then when we get to the galley, you'll see there's some accent lighting, kind of cool that's built in along the, uh, the Corian countertops as well. But I think there needs to be more overhead lighting. So I'm just gonna ding it a little bit for that. Let's take a look at what it looks like. This is with the slide out. Let's pull the slide in and just see how much room there is. So this is in real time, I'm moving the slide in. And of course, you're not gonna be able to get the Murphy bed down with the slide in, but I think you still have, you know, you can still sit down in those two uh, reclining chairs and you can still move front to back uh, fairly easily. All right, slide is back out. 
you can see here we're in the lounge we have our two chairs in the lounge which are pretty comfortable i sat in both of them and these chairs swivel as well and then you can have a tabletop that flips down from the wall you can get it up out of the way if you want i have to tell you i wasn't very impressed with the the, the leg and the way that they stabilize the tabletop on this model in fact the, the table leg was ripped off on this model i'm not going to ding them for that because Sometimes that happens when these RVs are on dealer lots, but even if it were fully functional, it just felt a little bit flimsy. So I think that Regency needs to just work on that a little bit. Overall, I felt that the quality, you know, I, I haven't seen how these are built, so I'm, I can't speak to behind the scenes, the quality. I can tell you from walking into it and just the feel and the fit and finish, it's, it's okay. I think it's on par with, you know, its competitors, um, it's not the best built. We'll, we'll talk about the warranty in a second, but you know, it's, it's okay. I think it, it will do. Across from your lounge is your television. It's a 40 inch LED TV. It electrically raises and lowers. Let's just take a, a closer look at that. You can see here, this is in the raise position and that when it's lowered you can also watch it by the way so you can see there, that there's a screen opening down below here we are in the lounge just taking a look at what, in the seated position what it looks like and turning around here the chairs are very cool they are electric so they have uh, electric ottomans pretty pretty nice and as i stated before you can swivel them into uh, this tv watching position or be forward facing with the other chair at the table let's take a look at how we set up the murphy bed first thing you do is you lower take these seat cushions off and then lower down the backs now, I didn't do things entirely correctly because I didn't extend out the ottomans. I think I needed to do that, so sorry about that. But then you just unlock the latches and flip down the bed. You can keep the bed made up, which I really like. You can see if I had the ottoman extended out, then that last piece would be fine. Here I am laying on the forward position, 510. The bed dimensions here are really good. We have... A 68 by 76 inch bed and I can tell you it was it was it was pretty comfortable here I am in the back position the the aftmost position and you have an opening window behind you with your shades I think overall it's a very functional design all right as we step into the galley it's a rather smallish L-shaped galley. There you can see, there, that's a band of light. That's the lighting they built into the Corian countertop. That provides, it's just a little bit of light. You know, you'll appreciate that at night if you're trying to make your way to the bathroom. I think it's a, it's a nice look to it as well. I like the floors as well. There is no counter extension in this kitchen. So the prep space that you see here is the prep space you're going to get. That two burner LP cooktop can be upgraded to an optional induction cooktop. And then across the way there, you see you have your three way refrigerator as well as your convection microwave. A nice large opening window for cooking and a properly placed ventilation fan in the galley as well. I like the patterned brushed metal backsplash there. I'm not a huge fan of the look of the wood, but it's okay. Here we are with the storage drawers open, top and bottom, pretty good storage. And as you turn around, you have a large floor to ceiling pantry as well. And then directly under the sink, you have a place for your trash can. Now they, they tout this as a place where you can just use your cutting board sink cover there and then when you're done just kind of scoop it into the trash below my i don't know if that's really something that would work for me but i'll point it out because it's something that they had in their marketing literature 
Always nice, though, to have a place for a trash can, a designed and designated place for a trash can. Let's take a look at the refrigerator. This is a three-way absorption. Three-way means it runs off AC, DC, and propane. That means this is not a compressor-driven refrigerator. You got to decide whether you like that or not. I've done a video on that. Um, uses very little propane absorption type refrigerators do, but they don't do as well in high heat, and sometimes they have trouble cooling down fast enough. But this one has a separate freezer, and it is six cubic feet. Or actually, it's larger than that. It's 6.7 cubic feet. And above that, you have a convection microwave oven. And since we're talking about power-hungry appliances like convection microwave ovens, let's take a look at our electrical system. So the batteries, this, is, uh, this has two 6-volt AGM lead-acid batteries. It's rated amp hours is around 1500. Keep in mind, because these are lead acid, you get about half that as usable capacity. So maybe 750 amp hours of usable capacity. I think that's okay here because you don't have a compressor refrigerator. If you had a compressor refrigerator, I might be a little concerned about that. There is no lithium upgrade, however, the inverter is 1200 watts. It's good that it's over a thousand. It means that you can run the microwave. You can run most of your other electrical AC components. The inverter allows you to run kind of standard household outlet type AC appliances off of your battery bank. I would prefer Regency to up that to 2000 just because it would be nice to have the microwave on and be charging your laptop. And 2000 watts would give you a little more breathing room there. I don't like this part. The generator, you can either get a 2.5 kilowatt or 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator, but they're optional. I really wish that they would just make like the 2.5 kilowatt generator standard. And then on solar, you can get up to four 100 watt panels, also optional. So an okay electrical system, considering that you don't have a compressor refrigerator. Okay, let's head into the bathroom, which is at the rear of the RV. And this is a three-piece dry bath. Three-piece means that you're going to have your sink and your shower and your toilet, but they're all going to be separate. So the, the shower, which we're looking at here, doesn't share the same shower area with the toilet. I love the curved glass panels. That's hammered glass. I like it's a big shower, you'll see. That's a nice, more residential style toilet. You have a little bit of storage above. There's a residential style faucet control, stainless steel sink, which I like, not plastic and Corian. Here I am sitting on the toilet. You can see I've got pretty good shoulder room. I've got good head room. Nothing's really going to bump me there. It could stand to be a little bit wider, but I'm really not going to complain here. Ventilation above my head. Nice to have dedicated ventilation in the bathroom. Here's the shower. We're standing inside the shower, looking out, looking above, and it's plenty big and spacious. I love having that huge skylight above. Here I am stepping into the shower so you can get a size comparison. And again, I'm 5'10". I got plenty of shoulder room and lots and lots of headroom. Now I'm told that the skylight has blinds. I didn't see any, but I'm told they do have blinds for privacy. Now, as far as storage, along the passenger side wall, we have plenty of it down below drawers. We have a wardrobe closet here. And here you can see that storage opened up. Storage under the sink, storage above the sink in a vanity. And from the inside, I'm just going to point out again, this is the laundry chute with the access panel. You can see there to the outside, and that just doesn't feel secure to me, and I, I don't like it. You'll have to decide if you like it or not. I, I just don't like having any access to the inside of the coach from the storage compartments, but maybe you're okay with that. Let's take a look at the tank capacities. Okay, fresh water, 26 gallons. I'd prefer to see that up over 30 for a Class C this size. Gray water is good, 39 gallons. Black water is excellent, 37 gallons. You know, I'm not going to ding it too much for a smaller fresh water tank because Really, your gray and black water tanks, and black water in particular, is going to be a limiting factor for you. So you can always refill up your fresh water tank by using the opportunity filling method that I outlined in one of my videos, but it's more difficult to 
uh, find a dump station for your grain block water. So I'm not going to ding them too much for a smallish fresh water. Liquid propane, 16 gallons, that's fairly typical. And you need that size since you've got a absorption type refrigerator. All right, let's wrap things up by just taking a look at what we're getting in the overview. The price of these Ultra Brome MBs can range anywhere from you know, 125,000 MSRP US dollars up to 160. This is 1,000. This is July 2019. But I will tell you, there's a lot more price flexibility with the Ultra Brome by Regency than there is certainly against the Airstream Atlas and probably even against the Leisure Travel Van Unity MB. So you're going to get, I think, a better deal with the Ultra Boom. I really like the coach warranty. It's better by one year than the coach warranty on the Leisure Travel Van Unity MB, which is only two years. This is three years, and it matches the three years on the Airstream Atlas. So I really applaud Regency for giving you a good warranty, at least compared to its competitors. There's no, as far as I know, roadside assistance program. It does come with two, like its competitors, two three-point seat belts, and it sleeps too. So what are the positives about the Regency Ultra Broom MB? Well, I think it is a one of only a few coaches. It's the most affordable option of what I know is three coaches available that has the Murphy bed and the L-shaped kitchen along the driver's side. I think as far as those three options go, it's the most economical and affordable, but at the same time, it gives you a three-year warranty, which ties it for the much more expensive Airstream Atlas, which also has a three-year warranty, and a, you know the warranty is one year better than the Leisure Travel Van Unity MB. So those are the positive points about it. I wish that they, and I think, by the way, that they have balanced the cargo carrying capacity with the, ex, the exterior storage excellently it's built on the mercedes chassis which is a great chassis and has a lot of safety features what are the some of the areas for improvement i think that they need to add some storage compartments uh, underneath the slide i think they need to work on the mechanism uh, that holds the doors up i think they ought, need to offer a lithium upgrade on it a larger inverter would be great and I really wish that they figure out a solution for that exterior storage compartment that gives you access to the inside of the coach. I, I just, I don't feel confident enough uh, in that security. But other than that, I really like this coach. I think Regency's done a great job balancing out all the different features against warranty and price. And if you're looking for a Class C that has the Murphy bed configuration and the L-shape galley on the driver's side, you definitely owe it to yourself to take a look at the Regency Ultra Berm MB. All right. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope that you found it valuable, and I'll see you all again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.